Hello, I'm Nevalon and this is Dolphus Newbie Channel. Today I'm gonna tell you how you can acquire special spells. I created a list of all available spells that will come useful in any activity. Those can be possessed by any class in the game. In case if specific spell will require any resources, I will show them on the screen with the amount necessary to exchange them. Now in update 2.65, many of the spells were changed and to some of them were added variants. There were also added new elemental spells that will be described in this video on how to get them. Before we begin though, I quickly wanna say thank you for warm welcome and positive feedback so far from the people that watched my videos that I already uploaded. I'll now try to create some smaller, basic guides, and maybe not only that. Without further ado, let's begin our list. First, a very basic spell that any class should have, especially summoners, is summon skill. This spell basically allows you to control your summons or let the AI control them depending on which variant you choose. The only summon that you can't control is Chaperpo. What you need to do is to go to 5 locations mentioned on the screen, click on the control fragments and then in quest tab in your inventory you will receive Pentacle. Double click on it and then you will get teleported to the island where you just need to click on last interactive object to receive the spell. If you ever forget to toggle the spell to control your summons, you can use the spell in the fight. It will change your summons behavior for the rest of the fight and refund you 1 AP for the cast. Now, if we already speak about the skeleton that is a Chaferfu, this is going to be the next spell we're gonna focus on how to get. To obtain it, we just need to do the skeleton dungeon. First, we need to finish the boss fight. After this, we need to talk to the NPC that will give us the spell. Now, depending on which variant of spell you use, there will be higher chance of 80% to spawn regular Chaferfu or Chaferfu Lancer. Careful with the regular Chaferfu, cause this guy can be biggest troll in the fight. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Another summoning spell is Summoning of Arachne. This spell can be obtained in three ways. First one is to go to Almanac Sanctuary, talk to NPC next to the doors and exchange the Almocans for the scroll and activate it. Second option is just buying it in consumable market. Third option is really rare. Just go to position at positive 11, positive 8 and go all the way to the attic. There can spawn Arachne that if you kill, you can then talk to the NPC at the bottom of the house and receive the spell for free. According to Wiki, respawn time of it takes from 8 to 12 hours. This summon, unlike the Chafferfu, can be controlled if you have a summon skill. Also, just like Chafferfu, you have 80% to spawn regular or major Arachne, depending on the variant you choose. Soul Capture allows you to soul the mobs that you are fighting. In order to get it, you need to finish Quaqua Dungeon and then at the end talk to the little white quack. Now you can use it to soul the mobs, arc monsters or dungeon bosses. Wanted monsters cannot be captured. To soul the group of mobs, you need the Soul Stone. There are four Soul Stones that can be used. First stone allows you to soul the group of mobs where highest level can't be higher than 50. Second Soul Stone for the group where mob can't be higher than level 100. Third Soul Stone for the group where mob can't be higher than level 150. And last one allows you to soul any group of mobs. So just so we clear. Let's say you wanna solve the group where Arc Monster is level 50, but in group also is mob that is level 51. Then you need to use Solstone that limit is up to level 100 because of this level 51 mob. Before you begin the fight, you must wear Solstone in order to use the Soul Capture spell. If you are wearing wrong Soulstone, the spell will fail to cast. You don't need to hit with the Soulstone, you just need to equip it. Then before the fight ends, you need to cast the Soul Capture spell in order to soul the monsters. The buff remains for 2 turns, so until then you or your partners can finish up the fight and your Soulstone will be filled up. You can then either sell these souls or use them in Brachmarian or Bontarian Arena and fight them again. I also want to mention that in specific quests such as for Okurdofus, when you will bring the soul stone with the specific mob, it will get just extracted from it and the rest of the mobs will remain in the soul stone. So if you are doing first steps with regular mobs, it's best to soul as many mobs of different type as possible. Do not waste your soul stone. Just a small tip. Mount taming you can get at the end of Coolish Dungeon. Just speak to the NPC that is in the same room after you kill the Coolish and exchange the resources. Spell works similar way like Soul Capture, but you need capturing net for specific mount that you wanna tame. Now, I used to use this spell only on Drago Turkeys and no specific mechanic was needed, but as far as I know, Rhinitals and Simuls taming works differently. So here I won't get too detailed unfortunately, but if you really need this information, you should possibly find it in Fandom Wiki. 
Slave Spirit Lantern can be acquired by exchanging resources to the NPC inside the tent located in positive 36, negative 40. This spell is meant to be used against mobs and bosses in Nolifis Island. It will place a lantern that can be picked up if you hit it in close combat. While lantern is on the ground, it will create 3 cell glyph in which mobs will be weaker than they should be or they won't be able to enter the glyph area. Mobs can also kill it and then it will have 2 turns cooldown before you can cast it again. Release scroll can be exchanged for 500 roses of sands in the treasure hunt room. It also can be purchased in consumable market. This spell can push entities around you, or if you use the variant that is provocation, it will move you and your target closer to each other by one cell. Burned Pie is the spell where most people use the variant that existed in the game probably for the whole time which is Leak Pie. Burned Pie hits with your weakest element for a low AP cost and Leak Pie hits with your strongest element. Spell can be purchased in consumable markets or exchanged with 2000 nuggets in Alliance Temple. Weapon skill can be obtained in Blacksmith Dungeon. After killing the boss you just need to talk to the NPC and he will teach you the spell. This spell empowers only your weapon damage. Its variant weapon clumsiness is a buff for you and a debuff for enemy. Once you will get hit with the weapon by the enemy, he will decrease his weapon damage for the next turns. Now if weapon applies more than one type of damage, it will apply debuff multiple times. So for example, UETs applies two types of damage, each in separate element. That will apply debuff two times after one hit. This debuff is stacking up three times. To get a Chaos spell, you need to go to Wabbit Island. Now, this island is really confusing, so here is the way on how to get to the spot where you can get this spell. First variant is Sableweed Chaos, which creates glyphs next to it. Whenever anyone stands on it, including enemy, they get healed. Second variant is Beefy Chaos, that whenever it receives damage without dying, it gives shield points to the attacker. Now, for this part, I recommend turning on the grid and also using shift plus click combination whenever you move. We have completely dark room where where we don't see where to go to not fall down. Now all you need to do is to follow the dots that are on the screenshot to get to the room. Once you manage to get there, you need to exchange 100 cowards for the spell. Boomerang is the spell that you get after finishing Skunk Dungeon. Now road to this dungeon is also complex, but in future there will be separate video of how to get there. Once you finish the boss, you need to talk to the Diamantine and exchange the boomerangs. First variant is Perfidious Boomerang. It will hit in a random element, lifesteal and also increase the damage for that element it just hit with. Second is Diamantine Boomerang that also hits in random element, but also attract target by one cell. Now all four elemental spells can be acquired in dungeons. Agility spell you can get at the end of the moon dungeon by talking to NPC. Chance spell at the end of the cannibal dungeon by clicking on the interactive object. Strength spell at the end of the mastodon dungeon by clicking at the skulder. And last one is intelligence spell that you will not guess. It's not at the end of the dungeon. It's in the first room of Gop Academy dungeon. Just enter this locker and there click on the scroll. Now about the intelligence spell, I want to talk a bit more because it has interesting mechanic. Basically first variant that is Grunob's lightning strike increases your healing received. This also works on percentage healing such as the one that you get from the Coco or for example Sakrir's spell Libation. Grunob's lesson though is decreasing the healing received for the enemy. So it can for example affect any Ripsa's word of recovery. Now here are two spells that I personally never used and never had. First one is Necronix that all I know is that it's useful in some dungeons. I found a video made by a channel called Single Malt Tofus and there he explains how to get it and also redirects to another video where he explains what it does. So check his video out. As for the bow spell, I think it's that irrelevant that it's not even worth mentioning. It's probably just related with Pandala quests. Alright, I hope that I mentioned all of the spells and described them well enough. If you have any questions, then you can always ask them in the comments. As usual, I invite you to check out my stream on Twitch, to which link is in the description, and also my Discord server, where you get notifications whenever I stream, and where we can chat about whatever you would like to. Now, this is it for this video. I appreciate you really for watching, and see you in the next one really soon.